Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I am going to tell you about algebraic fractions. First of all, let us see what are algebraic fractions. Fractions with algebraic symbols or expressions in the numerator, denominator or both are called algebraic fractions. Here are some examples. Now you will find the algebraic symbols are available in the numerator or in the denominator or sometimes in both numerator and denominator. Now through this video I am going to tell you about how to simplify algebraic fractions. Let us move on. The first part we are going to see is adding and subtracting algebraic fractions with equal integral denominators. Here integral denominators means the denominators will be numbers. Now look at this example 7x over 9 and x over 9. The denominator in both the fractions are 9. So this is a very simple addition. What you have to do is just add the numerators because the denominators are same. Now what we do is 7x plus x over 9 that is 8x over 9. Moving on to the second example. Here there are three fractions addition and subtraction is available. 15 is a common denominator for all the three fractions. So we can write 15 as the common denominator and write the rest in one line. 4y plus 6y is 10y minus 2y is 8y over 15. Moving on to the third example. t plus 1 over 4 plus t plus 5 over 4. Now here this is somewhat different from the previous two examples because in this case the numerator is an algebraic expression. So here since uh, it is addition with the same denominator we write everything together like this. Now you can see t plus 1 plus t plus 5. You know t plus t is 2t, 1 plus 5 is 6. So you can write 2t plus 6 over 4. The final example under this topic now in this case once again the denominator is 3 and here you have subtraction as well. Remember children when a subtraction comes among the fractions you have to take care to write the expression after the subtraction sign within brackets like this. Now here you can see I have written a plus 8 minus since it is coming after a minus the next part I have put within brackets and then uh, addition sign no problem you can write as it is but when subtraction comes this is a very important place where you do mistakes definitely you have to write the expression within brackets and then in the next step we have to remove the brackets that is we multiply each term inside the bracket by minus sign like this. Now here you see this minus into a is minus a and this minus into minus 5 is plus 5. So likewise it is very important that is what I am telling you to make sure that you write within brackets the expression which is after minus sign and then this uh, hereafter it is uh, simple just usual simplification a and minus a. Now in this case this plus a and minus a can be cancelled. 8 plus 5 plus 2 will be 15 and that 3a we write as it is 3a plus 15. Now in this case you can see you have already learnt factorizing. So 3a plus 15 can be factorized. Both 3 and 15 are multiples of 3 therefore you can take 3 out of a bracket then you get it like this 3a plus 5 over 3 now here what I have done is this 3 can be cancelled with this 3 so the answer is a plus 5 right now let's move on to the next part of this topic that is addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions with unequal integral denominators now when it comes to an unequal integral denominator like this 
normally in simple simplification of fractions you know if the denominators are not equal in order to add or subtract you have to equate the denominator so 2 and 5 the least common multiple of 2 and 5 is 10 so we equate both to 10 like this the first fraction we multiply by 5 the second fraction we multiply by 2 this is a very simple case then you get the common denominator as 10 and now you can proceed with normal addition 35x plus 2x is 37x over 10. Moving on to the next example. Here once again you have three different denominators. Now again you have to equate the denominators 2, 5 and 4. If you think carefully the least common multiple of 2, 5 and 4 is 20. So to equate all the three denominators to 20 we multiply the first fraction by 10 second fraction by 4 and the third fraction by 5 and then you will get everything over 20. So once when you do the simplification 30 plus 16t is 46t minus 15t will be 31t over 20. Moving on to the third example under this topic that is here now t plus 1 over 2 plus t plus 5 over 6 now they, these are uh, the numerators are algebraic expressions so equate to equate the denominators you know 2 can be multiplied by 3 and converted to 6 so we multiply the first fraction by 3 and remember if when you multiply uh, an expression by any term you have to bracket it and remove the brackets otherwise you will do mistakes so here i have put a bracket for t plus 1 in order to multiply by 3. I hope you can remember how to remove brackets and uh, do the simplification here. 3 into t plus 3 into 1 will give you 3t plus 3 and this the remaining fraction I have written as it is over 6 and once when you add you get 4t plus 8 over 6. Moving on to the next example and that is this now here we have to equate all the denominators 3 4 and 12 you know 3 and 4 can be multiplied by certain numbers and converted it to 12 so uh, in order to do the multiplication once again remember we have to put brackets like this now here you can see once when you remove the bracket 4 into a will be 4a plus 4 into 8 will be 32 and minus 3 into a is minus 3a and minus 3 I hope you can see why minus this there is a minus sign here minus 3 into 5 will be minus 15 and so on once when you do the simplification here you will get it like this now you can see there is a minus 3a here this minus 3a can be cancelled with plus 3a now 4a can be written as it is 32 minus 15 plus 2 will be 19 so 4a plus 19 over 12 will be the final answer moving on to the next topic adding and subtracting algebraic fractions with same algebraic denominators now here the denominator is algebraic now look at this example both the denominators are 9 by very simple you add the numerator 7 plus 6 that is 13 over 9 by Moving on to the next example here once again all the denominators are 5m so 4 plus 6 is 10 minus 2 will be 8 over 5m then the fourth third example here now you have some algebraic expression ag algebraic terms in the numerator but still no problem you can do the same method of simplification is followed t plus 60 will be 70 minus 3 over 4u is the final answer fourth example here the denominator is an algebraic expression yet no problem you keep it as it is and simplify the numerators no nothing to do with the denominators in this case because all all are equal to one another so 8 minus 5 plus 2 is 5 over 3 plus b right this is very very simple if the denominators are equal the simplification is very easy only if the denominators are not equal we have to think a little now here simplifying algebraic fractions with algebraic expressions in the numerator and the denominator both now what to do we'll see 
Look at this first example. Here in both up and down, you have algebraic expressions and symbols. So, seven, uh, but here in this case, 2x plus 1 is the common denominator. Therefore, it's not a big deal. We can just add 7x plus x, that is 8x over 2x plus 1. The next example. Now, once again here, the denominator is same, u minus 1 and the numerators must be simplified. 3t plus 4t is 70 minus t is 60 over u minus 1. Moving on to the next example. Now, look here. t plus 1 over 4 plus r, t plus 5 over 4 plus r. The denominator is same. So, we write the rest of the numerators in one line like this and then we do the simplification. t plus t is 2t, 1 plus 5 is 6. So, 2t plus 6 over 4r is the answer there. The fourth example, fine. Now, here all the denominators are equal to a plus 5. So, nothing to do with the denominators and in this case, numerators must be carefully simplified because there is a minus sign Oh, there is a subtraction. So, as I said before, you have to put a bracket like this before simplifying and then you have to make sure to remove the bracket minus into a and minus into minus 5. So, once when you do that simplification, you get a plus 8 minus a minus into minus 5 is plus 5 plus 3a plus 2. So, once when you do this, uh, then you can again see this a can be cancelled with this minus a then you get 3a plus 15 over a plus 5. Now, once again, 3a plus 15, you can see 3 can be taken out because 3 is common to both 3a and 15. So, you can take 3 out of a bracket like this and then what is remaining? a plus 5 will remain inside. Now, in this case, this a plus 5 and this a plus 5 can be cancelled because they are... Uh, in the form of multiplication between 3 and a plus 5. So, then the final answer is 3. So, that is how you do this simplification. Hope you understood how to simplify algebraic fractions and how to work out with algebraic fractions in addition and subtraction. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.